two books that I've been published in, and I've got printed stuff of my own, and I've got some pictures of them on my Facebook page on my phone. So, excuse me if there's a bit of a break in between each one, because I should be, you know, dipping and dabbing, as they call it. Anyway, my name's Mark. I'll just give you my full name. It's Mark R. Hollis. I do have a book on Amazon, if anybody's interested in buying it. It's called um, The Book of All My Faces. No, no plug intended. Um, I've, <laughs> I've been writing since I was 14, and I'm just the right side of 60 now. A twice divorced child of the 60s. Um, my English teacher, at Mr. This was at AMVC, Arthur Miller's Village College, Mr. Thomas. I used to write silly stories, sci-fi, usual crap. And he encouraged me to just try poetry. And we had this, we had a lesson, English literature, and he'd written a load of words on the blackboard. Um, I probably picked the hardest one, I think. And that word was musculature. I mean, at 14, who knows what that means? I just about did. So, this is the very first poem I wrote. And it's called Musculature. So I'll, um, I'll read this for you. Mr. Universe came to tea yesterday at three. A little early for tea, I think you'll agree, but it serves the rhyme. And then at four, when he's at my door, he turns and says to me, that was a mighty fine tea for sure, just like my musculature. And that's at 14. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, so for the sake of chronology, this is the latest one I wrote at 3.01 a.m. on the 11th of October. And it's basically about coming up here and reading in front of you guys. It's called Bricking It. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's if I am, actually, but still. Bricking It. Standing here in front of people who don't really see me or don't really hear me, I wonder what to do with my hands. What can I do with them when my pockets are already full? A mobile phone, loose change, pens, and a USB stick with a current CV on it, various cover letters. I am what you call in the job market. Various pictures of Microsoft Office projects and that remain unfinished. A PowerPoint presentation on the movies of Stephen King. And music stolen at 2 a.m. from YouTube by a nice little piece of software called Microsoft YouTube to MP3 Grabber. I never listened to it. So I stand here still. The hand dial am now forgotten. I think you may be listening and seeing while I feel unconnected, uncemented, unwith, unbricked. A part of a fragmented whole that fleets floatingly past the field of vision of a million eyes. Or maybe only two. That will have to do. Thank you. Welcome. Right. I don't know if you've heard of um, United Press. There are, well, they publish all kinds of things, but it's mostly poetry. They ask you to submit your work, and then they say, you need to pay us so that we can publish it. So that's not really how fame works in my view. You should be get, I should be getting the money, not them, but still. So I sent a load of stuff to them and then I paid, I don't know what it was, to get it published in this a Gathering of Minds, it was called. And I, I also did it in a national poetry anthology from 2013. This one was from oh, the same year. Oh well. Must have been my most fertile period. And this is called Ghosts. The story behind this, I won't read it cold, the story behind this is um, I joined a few Facebook poetry book, uh, groups and um, it gave me the impetus because I've written for many years and then stopped. I, I tend to not write when I'm happy, unfortunately. So I was married, I was married and I was living a normal life, I had a child, so I just gave it up like a lot of things I gave up, which you tend to do, just concentrate on working and you know. And then divorce happened so when I joined this group 
it kind of gave me the impetus to start writing again. And this came just from nowhere, I think. I was just sitting there and all of a sudden these words came to me. I think poetry is like that. I think you just sit, it's, it's almost like a channel to some of the world. And when it, when it hits you like that all in one go, because a lot of people, they edit and, and try and get it as concise as they possibly can. But I think it's much better if you do it as it comes. So anyway, this is, this is one of the first ones I wrote on this poetry group on Facebook. It's called Ghosts. You cascade like stars into my room from the desolate landing with firefly blizzards heralding you, a ghost. You shimmer into shape from solid out of air with a face like moons, hollow and cold and full of radiant words. You force open my heart with sharp and loving hands and place yourself there in the absence of air. Upon my pillow of dreams, you anchor your ship and we dance. Thank you. And then just to get the published part of the multimedia presentation out of the way, I have another one from the National Poetry Anthology of 2013. Again, United Press. I paid for the privilege. And this is about my divorce. I've been divorced twice, but the second one hurt a lot more because there was um, one more. Blimey, okay. Because um, there was a child involved, and the first one there wasn't. So um, this is called Airless. Stay flat, book. On a flat grey sea, the memory comes to me of how we used to be. It is my reverie. I am not serene, just hollowed out. I float like huskwood, eaten from inside. Your shadow casts its pall over me and all my all. Every brick of every wall. My heart is airless and small. Your laughter mocks me if I recall the memory, your sour testimony that mimics tragedy. And because I cannot see past the way we used to be, I am a flock of calamity, catastrophe on an open sea. And as blithe as your recovery, mine is still in discovery, untitled sentimentality, as it was meant to be. And the only other one, I'd like to just read one more. Yeah. It's only about um, five or six lines. And I never got to use the ones on my phone. Oh, damn it. Go on, I'll, I'll just read one. Anybody know what a haiku is? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I didn't expect anyone to. Yeah. It's, a, it's a traditional Japanese poem. It's a, traditionally about nature or philosophy. And it consists of 17 syllables, three lines, five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. Um, there was a, another group that I was on on Facebook. We had like um, an exercise, just write a haiku about anything, and uh, and it got me thinking about lots of things. Obviously, how to say as much as you possibly can in as few words as you can, which is basically what it's about. Anyway, I came up with this. So this is the three, this one, and then one more, and I'm done. I promise. This one's called Quiet Love. 